Okay, so uh, I'd like to introduce Kerry Konoski from the Kidney Cancer Association who sponsored, uh, who has uh, sponsored this uh, program. She's going to tell you a little bit about the organization and what they can do for you and what you can do for them. And then we'll take a break for lunch and I think what we'll do uh, in the interest of time is start the case presentations early so everyone can go out and get a lunch, bring it back in, start to eat, and then we'll start the case presentation so we can finish early. Okay? Kerry Konoski. Hi, I'm Carrie Konoski, the Vice President of Development and Public Affairs for the Kidney Cancer Association. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the association, um, what we do, how we can, can better help all of you for, for those of you that are not familiar with us. So the association is an international not-for-profit organization um, that are made up of patients, family members, friends, physicians, nurses, and other health care providers. Our mission uh, is to reduce the incidence of and suffering and mortality caused by kidney cancer through innovative and collaborative education and research. We focus on three areas, education, both patient and physician education, research, and advocacy. Um, first, just a little bit about the history of the organization. We were founded in 1990 by Eugene Schoenfeld, um, who was a professor at the Medill School of Journalism in Northwestern. At the time of Jean's diagnosis, unfortunately, there were no treatments for kidney cancer, no networks for kidney cancer patients like we have today, um, you know, no other support services or resources. And so Jean's diagnosis was pretty grim, that there was really nothing that could be done and to, to kind of go home and, and spend the time with his family that he had left. Well, the kind of person that Jean was, that wasn't um, something that he was willing to, to accept. So he, you know, talked to his doctor about it and his doctor challenged him to do something about that. Um, and so Jean focused full time on creating the Kidney Cancer Association. Sorry about that. Um, he, we are now celebrating our 25th anniversary, and as you have learned today, we are far from the world that, that we were in when Jean was diagnosed. Now there are many options of approved therapies for patients. Um, you've seen new clinical trials that are in the pipeline for patients and meetings like this so that we can offer support services um, for patients, survivors, and family members like all of you. In terms of the education that we can provide, um, we do patient education meetings. So in addition to regional conferences such as this, we um, help support um, smaller patient support group meetings all over the US, You know, monthly meetings, weekly meetings, whatever patients in a community might want, uh, working with local institutions, um, or you know, having something at a library, or just something as simple as patients getting together at a coffee shop to talk about what they're going through with their disease. We also have videos from conferences such as this, um, webinars that our nurse advisory board has put on talking about various topics about kidney cancer. So if there are things that you've learned at this meeting that you want to go back and, and be refreshed on. We'll have this, this meeting online, um, other meetings that are similar to this that might maybe discuss the topic in a different way. Um, in terms of physician education, we do two large medical symposia each year, one um, in Europe that takes place in the spring that we're getting ready for um, in two weeks in France, and then one in the U.S. every fall. These me meetings are um, for physicians, nurses, other health care providers um, specifically, but we do put that information um, on our website following the meeting so that patients and families can see what the doctors are discussing um, and, and to learn some of what the new research that's coming is. The number one resource that we have for patients is our website, uh, kidneycancer.org. If you haven't visited it, I would encourage you to do so. We have um, just relaunched it last, um, right before Christmas, so it um, has a new look to it. Um, we're always taking feedback from patients and families to how we can better improve the resources that we have for you. Um, we also have our publication, We Have Kidney Cancer, which is the um, primary print publication for patients. It's updated um, at least annually by our nurse advisory board, so anytime that there's new approved therapies, um, anything that would be important to patients that might be, might be new, um, we'll include that in the book. It's available as um, a Kindle book from Amazon. It can be printed on demand as well, so you can have a print copy, or you can use a flip book online by going to our website um, and seeing the e-version. Um, in terms of social media, we have a large presence on Facebook, um, over 80,000 patients now that are talking um, you know, 24 hours a day from all over the world. Um, we do have an active Twitter handle, it's at Kidney Cancer. Uh, we also have a community on Inspire, so if you're familiar with that platform, um, they have a lot of disease specific um, communities and we're about a year old on there now, so that site is growing. Um, and then we also have our YouTube channel, which in addition to videos um, from these meetings, um, sometimes we'll link to other videos that, we might, that might be useful for, for kidney cancer patients. 
Um, in terms of clinical trials, we um, really try to educate on the importance of clinical trials, that even though we have so many approved therapies for patients now, um, clinical trials are still very important. Um, as Dr. Joan Ashton mentioned earlier on the clinicaltrials.gov site, we actually have on our website, if you go to, um, to that link on our website, it already has it filtered for all the trials for um, kidney cancer patients, so it makes it a little bit easier to start navigating through that. Uh, we also have uh, work with um, Emerging Med, who is a matching service for clinical trials. So they have a telephone number that you can call, um, and they'll try to help you navigate the trials that are available. So a little bit more about how you can help. First, the easiest way is to help us continue the work that we do is to make a donation. Um, it's very simple to go on our website and click the donation link and, and make a contribution. You can make those recurring. You can uh, share that link with friends and family. Um, you can also send in a contribution via check from our website. And if anybody's interested in doing so today, we um, are happy to um, can help you with that while we're here. Uh, second is signing up for our e-newsletter that um, always will have a call to action to patients. So if there's something we're advocating on, if we're doing some sort of fundraising event, um, you know, raising awareness on a specific issue, we'll, you know, we'll have ways to help you help us do that. Um, also starting a fundraiser. We've had many successful events that have been started from patients and families putting together a small walk in their community, um, doing a dinner at a local restaurant for their community and talking more about the disease. Um, if you visit our website again, we have, can help you get started with that and supply some materials to, to make you have a successful event. Um, raising awareness. So in addition to just doing fundraising events, again, using your social networks to talk about the disease, not just talking about, you know, donating money or an event that you might be having, but pushing articles, talking about research, talking about ways people can advocate for, um, you know, cancer research in general. And then, uh, again, starting a support group meeting. As I mentioned, that we do help patients and families get those started. So if there's not something currently near, nearby you or you'd like to see something more regularly, we can help you to get that started. And with that, I will thank you. Um, again, um, Bill Bro and myself will be here um, until the end of the meeting. So if you have any other questions, please do feel free to stop by and say hello. Thank you.